All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So the Pittsburgh Steelers, Omar Khan has done it once again. A couple of days after signing Russell Wilson to be the new quarterback for this team, he goes out there and he acquires Patrick Queen, one of the highest sought out players in the free agency market. And what's even crazier about this acquisition are the details. So Patrick Queen's getting a three-year, $41 million contract. He is only 24 years old. He's an absolute star-level linebacker in the National Football League. And just for some comparison here, uh, because the way they, it's a super team-friendly deal, the way they orchestrated it, the way they structured his three-year contract is very team friendly. And so in his first season, you know, he gets a fat signing bonus. His salary is quite low, like $2.25 million salary, but an $11.59 million signing bonus. He got $13.84 million guaranteed signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And here's what's so crazy. Tremaine Edmonds last season got $36.8 million guaranteed when he signed with the Chicago Bears. That is three times more than Patrick Queen. Foye Alukan got $28 million guaranteed in his 2022 signing. So it's extremely team friendly. And the move itself is a really big freaking deal, man. The Pittsburgh Steelers have one of the best defenses in the National Football League. They were the sixth best defense last year. We all know TJ Watt, 19 total sacks last season. And I still have Alex Highsmith. I still have a Landon Roberts. Unfortunately, I just read a report that uh, Cole Holcomb's injury could be career threatening. But yeah, man, this is uh, just an unbelievable move. Hats off to Omar Khan and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. And a little bit about Russ and just Pittsburgh in general, because they're not done, folks. But before we get into it, if you guys enjoy, hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. We post a ton of Steelers videos on this channel every single week. Steelers fans, if you could try and get this video to 500 likes for this signing, it would mean the absolute world to me. So, you know, we are talking about this a couple of days ago when they signed Russ. Like, Pittsburgh's defense single-handedly won them football games. And with Matt Canada or Kenny Pickett or Mitch Trubisky or Mason Rudolph for the final three games... The offense was unbelievably lackluster. Like they had their first 400 yard game since 2020. They were the fourth worst scoring offense. They were the fifth worst passing offense, yet they still went 10 and seven. So I hopped back here on the mic a couple of days ago and I said, look, man, this team has a top 10 roster in the National Football League. And it was kind of crazy uh, the amount of backlash that they got, but or that that comment got. This team is not done. Uh, both offense, defense. I think every Pittsburgh Steelers fan's kind of like biggest wish right now is Legereus Sneed at the cornerback position from the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, I've seen Tyler Boyd's name floated out there a lot. A Deontay Johnson trade could be in the works at some point this season or at some point in the offseason. Uh, but I definitely expect them to address probably the center, the wide receiver position, and you know another cornerback. But the linebacker was a big want kind of a big need for Pittsburgh. You know, you had TJ Watt last season, you had a Landon Roberts, you had Cole Holcomb, you had Miles Jack, you had Quan Alexander. The injury bug hit specifically the linebacker room like I've never seen before. But Patrick Queen himself is an absolute unit. He's coming off an all-pro second team season, a Pro Bowl year. He had 133 total tackles. 84 of those were solo. He had six quarterback hits, three and a half sacks. Uh, he's not the craziest coverage linebacker uh but he's going to get the job done because he's only 24 and he's improved every single season it's crazy some of the uh the backlash that i saw on twitter today saying that like you know their dc and roquan smith acquisition at the deadline a couple of years back was the reason that patrick queen finally broke out and it's like wow i forgot that young new players in the nfl don't improve every season on their way to stardom but guys this is a needle changing move Needle changing move. And I could not be happier for my Pittsburgh Steelers fans watching this video right now, doubling down on the defensive side of things. And you've got a quarterback. You've got a competent 26 touchdowns. Last season, only eight interceptions. Russell Wilson, Kenny Pickett, in, or sorry, the Pittsburgh Steelers in the last two seasons, only 25 total passing touchdowns combined. Uh, this is a huge move because 
We just saw Derrick Henry go to the Baltimore Ravens earlier today. We've been seeing the Cincinnati Bengals make a couple of moves. Can't forget about the Cleveland Browns. It's a loaded division. Like it is just the AFC North is a different breed and you need all the help you can get in Patrick Queen going up against the Baltimore Ravens twice a year. That's going to be a spectacle to see because he's going to come ready to play for those two games. Uh, but he plays hard every single snap he's out there. This is just one of the best free agent players in the market. And he landed with Pittsburgh. So once again, man, uh, Pittsburgh's got some money to spend. You know, they recently cut Patrick Peterson. They recently cut uh, a bunch of players, Allen Robinson. So yeah, they still have some holes at the cornerback position, at the wide receiver position. I'd like to see some bolsters there, even with Joey Porter and George Pickens. But Man, oh man, Omar Khan making two very calculated moves. And the Patrick Queen acquisition is just, it's just huge. And I can't believe the money. I keep reading this. A three-year, $41 million contract. Like in his final season, $10.83 million, $7.16 in 2025. This next season, $2.25 million. Like it is so team friendly. It gives Omar Khan... And the Pittsburgh Steelers, so much flexibility with money that uh, my jaw pretty much dropped when I saw this news that the Steelers were locking in Patrick Queen. So um, A plus signing, if you were to ask me, I really don't understand the coverage concerns. Um, he's improved actually every single season he's been in the league, uh, but I have the stat here. Patrick Queen, I think this was from PFF. Patrick Queen isn't an elite cover linebacker, but he's far better in that regard than what the Steelers currently have at the position. After Queen allowed a passer rating of 104.4 .4 or higher in his first two seasons, he surrendered a passer rating of 94.5 or lower in 2022 and 2023. Like, folks, he's a star linebacker, and he's on his way to superstar linebacker level. And I still have Alex Highsmith. And I still have TJ Watt and I still have Landon Roberts coming back from injury. The Cole Holcomb news that I just read, like, I think that article dropped like a half hour ago. That really sucks. Uh, that really does suck. But, you know, stuff happens. I hope he, I certainly, you know, I hope to see him in a Steelers uniform again, but I hope his career isn't over because he was huge for Pittsburgh last season. Uh, but yeah, great move. And Omar Khan certainly isn't done yet. So you got your quarterback, you got your star, another star linebacker. And um, yeah, man, if I see Legereus need to Pittsburgh, I will lose my absolute mind because that defense, which was already a top five level defense in the National Football League, would be inching closer to number one. So that's it for me. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL videos. If you guys want more Steelers videos, they're on the way. So hit that like button. Hit that sub button for more. But most importantly, guys, give me a grade rating on the Patrick Queen signing from Pittsburgh today. Let me know as well, because free agency technically begins in less than 24 hours at the time of this recording. Let me know what else or who else you want the Pittsburgh Steelers to sign in free agency. That's it for me. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you soon.